another reaction after another loss. I mean, I'm pretty much used to it right now. I was watching the game and in the commentary, Andy Townsend said, the fans are so quiet. It's like they're now used to it. They now think, they now know they're not, they're not a good club anymore. They're not a big club anymore. They're not even a top six club anymore. And I was like, you know what? He's actually very right. Like, as we started out so positively, Martinelli shot, and then after that, that, that was it. That was the only thing we did the entire game. After that, uh, I think it was Jesus running down the wings, cross De Bruyne all by himself, bang, one goal. And after that, I didn't even think we'd, we'd win anyway. Like, at least try, you know, try, give something. You're at home, it's a Premier League game. You've been given a chance. It's a, it's a new manager, interim manager. Show him something so he can start the, the next game after that. But nothing. A minutes later, 2-0. Still nothing. Fans quiet. Everyone is bored. As in, I was just watching the game like, oh, you know what? <laughs> We're just used to it these days. 3-0, halftime. You'd expect the players to come in the second half, show something, at least make it 3-1 or 3-2. We, we lost the game by the 17th minute. Players didn't even try. It's like they just know they're not good enough. And it's really, really frustrating. That is what hurts most. That you just know you're not good enough. It really hurts. Let me get into the player ratings. Leno, our best player the entire season. Uh, looks like he's going to be our best player for a while. I'm going to give him an 8 because he really helps us every single day. I mean, without him, we'd be conceding 4 or 5 every single game. At left back, Olasinac got injured. Unfortunately, he's very, very weak. As in, he can't go 2 or 3 games without an injury. We just need new defenders. Kolasinac, I'm going to give him... While he was in the pitch, I'm going to give him a three because the, the goal that De Bruyne scored and the goal that uh, Sterling scored from his wing, nowhere to be seen. Four. No, sorry, three. I'm going to give him a three. Uh, Chambers, there's a time he just gave away the ball and Jesus should have made it four. I mean, so poor. Not even one defender is good. I'm going to give him a three, two. Um, uh, Socrates, another three. I can't give any defender more than that. Just poor, not good enough. I tried back Niles. I'm going to give him a four. He put in some tackles here and there. Not his position, but I'm tired of saying that. I mean, even if he plays in central midfield, still doesn't show what he has. So I'm going to give him a four. Central midfield, Gwenduzi. I love him so much, but he slows the game too much. And the passing is too obvious. I mean, do you see the way the Kantes and the, the drink, the way Drinkwater played in the title winning season, the way the, ja, the Zavis and the Xabi Alonso and all those people played? Okay, I'm not comparing him to them, but this is the way the midfield should be playing. But I don't see that in Arsenal. Whichever midfielder plays, I'm going to give Gwenduzi a four. Torreira, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give Torreira a 5. I think he, he tried. I saw some tackles here and there. So I'm going to give him a 5. Uh, in front of him, Pepe <sighs> tried, lost the ball 3 or 4 times from what he saw. So not higher than a 4. I'm going to give him a 4. Martinelli always puts himself about probably our second or play, best player after Leno today. So I'm going to give him a 6. Uh, the only shot on target too. So, Ozil, another mediocre performance. I mean, fans cry out for him, but Ozil is a player you you can have when you have players like Yaya Toure, Golo Kante, De Bruyne, Sterling, all those kind of players around him. But if he's your best player in the team, he can never be your best player in the team. So, I'm gonna give Ozil a three. Not good enough. Uh, in front, Aubameyang didn't do anything apart from the shot he took off a shot off target in the second half when the game is about to end didn't run didn't do anything it's like he's just given up it's like he's also just waiting for the end of the season so, so he can leave this club too and it will be really really frustrating i mean i wouldn't want to play for arsenal right now if i was a football player and i'm an arsenal fan i wouldn't want to play for arsenal i'd rather go play for wolverhampton or aston villa rather than arsenal so i'm gonna give him a three very very poor from the bench uh, we put on Willock. i'm gonna give him a standard five because he didn't have much time saka came on left back not his position tough game already two two or three nil down got uh he got subbed on after we considered the third goal and you're playing with 10 men so for trying i'm gonna give him i'm gonna give him a six he tried 
uh who else came on i actually don't even remember who else came on i mean <sighs> that's how bad we are let me just stop before you remember who came on that's how bad we are i mean it's really really annoying it's sad this is what our club has come to the board stan and josh i don't know where the fuck they are but they don't really care about this club we, we keep on dropping more and more and more and more i mean really I don't I, I don't really get it. I don't really get how you just let a club keep going. Arsenal, I started supporting Arsenal in 2004. Hondri was running strings. Fabregas was a young player giving his all. Vieira, Colo Toure, all the classics that I've watched, Tony Adams, all those players. I mean, they give something to the team. I mean, you can't just start a game and within 17 minutes you've given up. It's a home game. It's a Premier League game. We've seen teams coming from 3-0 down, but we were just like, Ugh, you know what? We've already lost this game. So, anyway, I just remember duels came on. Smith Rowe did very well. I'm going to give him a 7 for that game. So, yeah, what can I say? It's really, really annoying. And uh, I'm not even looking forward to the next game. We have a draw, a Europa League draw tomorrow. I'm going to do another video on that. Thank God we finished fast because we would have been given Ajax and we would have lost against six or seven goals. It's really, really frustrating. Anyway, thanks for watching the player ratings. I'll be back. If I'll still be alive, I'll be back with another player ratings. Hopefully next time it will be better, but not confident anymore. Thanks for watching.